Alright guys, uh, without training what is with you, um, you guys said you wanted a, uh, a review of mods and everything for my helmet, um, this is the helmet itself, uh, it is a, a G-Max 78S, um, I think this is, this should be a, I think it's an extra large helmet size I got, um, 24 inches, um, but the helmet itself, uh, the mod was changing the LEDs in the back. When you got these, uh, it comes with red LEDs. Now there's two LEDs in it, one on each side, and then it has a, uh, a plastic piece that, uh, that takes it over, uh, to illuminate the whole thing. Now, um, as you can see, when you turn it on, this is the regular. So blue is the new color that I changed it out to. Um, you have the three different modes, uh, always on, and you have the blinking. Um, and then you have more rapid blinking themselves. Um, I did not get the uh, the actual uh, module for replacing this for brake light itself. So this is just the normal module that comes with the helmet. Um, so as you can see, uh, they used to be red. They are now blue. Uh, I picked up a... I think I got a... Um, there's a car accessories that you can get at like your uh, local Walmart and everything that uh that come with leds in them um i i didn't purchase i don't have well i i didn't specifically purchase blue leds off of online or anything which probably would have been cheaper um but i got like an 11 dollar module that had blue leds in it took it apart um replaced them with these blue ones took out those red ones and put them into the uh the actual other module um and i can show you guys what uh those look like they're kind of could be turned into turn signals if i wanted to but uh, that's the the mod on the helmet itself. Um, this helmet, um, do a quick review or something of it. Um, the helmet's great, fits terrific. Um, uh, you do get a lot of noise in the helmet itself. Um, it has plenty of vents. You have a front vent. Um, one thing that I don't like about the front vent is uh, this front clip. Um, obviously, you can close the vent or open the vent, but if you keep pushing it up you open the vent again when you do that it pushes up on the seal where the helmet would be closed now I don't know if this was a design thing that they thought would be cool for keeping the helmet up a bit but it becomes it creates a small gap um, but I don't see any use for it um, it should have only went up and stopped there and shouldn't have been able to go up more um, you have top vents two top vents uh, for air coming in towards the top of your head. Um, now you do have a um, inside using the top piece. You do have a sun visor that comes down. Now I don't use this. Um, I haven't had any use for it, uh, but I know it doesn't fit where the actual nose cut out and stuff doesn't really fit my face specifically, but um, I'm sure it'd come in use if I actually had a very sunny day that I'd need it. But that's something that's in it. So, um, I can probably go into camera mount. Um, I mounted it to the side right underneath. They have uh, two pins uh, that's on the side of the helmet. Uh, they have them on both sides. But uh, right underneath there, I put the actual, this is where my uh, drift slides into. Slides in this way, faces this way. So when you guys see my camera view, you can usually see right here, this cutout right here um, for that air vent. And then I have the cord itself coming down. Um, it wraps into the side. It follows the back skirting. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, then the carries that up into the side cheek. Now I have the, the speaker the actual mic itself uh right here where i have i have some extra uh cotton stuffing just shoved in there they help with uh some of the noise obviously i don't know if it does the best job um but it it works and i haven't changed it since so that's just a mic setup itself so the camera slides in here pointing that direction and then this just clips right into the back um I could probably go into removing this module so you guys get to see the um, idea of how they remove these. So I'll, uh, I'll add that on. Alright guys, so I told you I'd, uh, I'd show you how to actually do the mod. If you guys will ever want, if you want to do the actual mod yourself, uh, if you have the helmet. Um, I do know Navy Thomas. I believe he had a, a review of this helmet already, so he may have it. But uh, 
the actual helmet itself has a uh, the actual light system that's in it is nothing more than you have your PCB that has the lights on it um, with the button on the front so you have your two LEDs so you have your two LEDs that come up front now these are the ones I replace so this board that's sitting inside this plastic piece um, is flexible if you pull on these insides you can pull this inward and pull it out um, you will find that you can replace there's two terminals here you have to desolder those um, and replace them with the actual um, new LEDs if you want um, I think these are about I think they're five millimeter um, five millimeter LED size um, so you need two of those um, in whatever color you like obviously uh, the brighter the better um, if that's what you want to go to but actually most times you're only going to see these at night time compared to day anyways so all you have to do is uh, take this out now this piece obviously you have the connector um, that just gets there's a there's a tunnel grooved into here that goes the whole way up the helmet up to this top piece now the the top piece has a has another piece has a slider piece they to push up on in order to uh, to get it out there's one screw there so you take that screw out and then you grab this by the back side pull it up and then slide it downward because there's this little hinge piece that gets grooved up underneath the actual slider that goes towards the, uh, the sun vent that's inside of it um, once you take that out, you have access to where the battery pack is. The battery pack's up here. Um, you pull the battery pack out, you disconnect it from the wiring harness that will be coming out through this top. Um, disconnect that, put it off this side. Um, and then the back of the helmet will have, it'll have these two guardings on the side, um, the extension pieces, and then you have what is the actual button piece in the middle. Um, to take these off, uh, the best thing is to do is you start by pulling, you usually put a screwdriver into the side right where the, uh, the actual middle clear piece meets these, uh, these black extensions. Um, and you have to pull that up. Once you get this front piece up, you have this a clip at the top you have to pull out and then a bottom clip. And once you get both sides out, um, you're going to have two more screws. You're gonna have two more screws, one here and one here. Now these are little screws, um, so you have to take those out, and that will release this actual piece for the lighting itself. Um, now this does have a has the clear coating on the outside with the button press on it, which just presses on the uh, the hard button, the actual button on the inside, um, and then it also has a diffuser which uh, allows the light to go farther which will be over top of this so these two pieces will be over top of this connected together and then that will be shoved in there so once you replace the LEDs you put the diffuser back on um, you have to snap this back together you have a bunch of clips on here which have to align up to they have bars in here so wherever you see the bars at where they should clip into you have the side bars that should clip under and then you have this bottom bar which clips right underneath the button and then you have these other top ones which clip on top but once you do that um, you can just reroute this take the cord um, there's a hole right at the top and you can just reroute that up so you reroute it up to the bot the battery pack you know, you pull it through this tiny hole and then you can reclip it in um, as you can see without the diffuser you get the LEDs themselves so, on, blinking, and then uh, a quicker. So that's that's how you uh, you replace those LEDs if you want. Uh, the red ones themselves, I did put it into the actual pieces that I took out, which uh, they have six LEDs in them in a row, and they sequence from the first LED over to the last one. Now the last one's the one I changed to red, so it goes blue, 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 and then the last one's red. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, if you ever see uh, the sequence lights on the back of Mustangs we have the three bars one will blink the next one will blink and then the next one it's signal their turning signal it's kind of that concept um, I don't know if I'll put those on the bike but uh, 
it's something, uh, you know, we get uh, both working, both everything, so I didn't lose anything in the process. Um, it just makes a cooler effect than having all blue sequencing on those LED bars that I purchased. So that's how you uh, replace the LEDs, guys. And that's like a quick review, not really much of a review at all, of the helmet itself. And you have to see the actual setup for how I mounted my camera. So uh, if that gives you guys any ideas, um, any thoughts, uh, anything you want to know, or uh, thoughts on modding extra onto the helmet, um, give me a shout out. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll check into it, or I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know. Um, but uh, yeah, that guys, there you go.